Mark Groening is a local artist who calls Rochester's East End home. Visit his gallery and you'll quickly realize that he likes to explore. It isn't often that you come across an artist who is as comfortable with the paintbrush as they are with a torch. Take a look. I uh, started actively becoming an artist when I was in my 20s, mostly textiles, hand-painted t-shirts, uh, canvas paintings, whatnot. As I started to get more money, I started to buy different supplies and different materials. When you come to the Mark Ronan Gallery, you'll see a wide collection of what looks to be multiple people's works, and in fact, it's mine. You'll see fused glass, formed acrylic, things that look like big blown glass pieces, steel, steel sculptures, jewelry, fused glass jewelry. As I moved through these different areas trying to experiment with what I liked and what I didn't like, uh, I found things that really resonated with me and that, that I was comfortable with. Having a, a large variety of, of things allows people to support you without breaking the bank. People would come to me over the years. I've been in doing this for over 30 years now. Um, and they would go, well, you should do this. Well, did you ever think about doing this? Well, your stuff's too expensive. Do you have anything that's under $100? So, you know, like I have this wide variety of things from $15 to 25 to 75 to 100 to 5,000, 10,000 and up. You know, the sky's the limit. I try, to, I try to keep things accessible for everybody. People who come into the gallery, they, they, they want to support you, but if it's a gallery where everything, you know, the minimum thing is $10,000, they just can't do it. I really believe in letting the material sort of dictate what shape it wants to be. I allow things to evolve. Uh, paint anything that I'm working on. It's, I have the idea, there's an inspiration, there's a motivation, I bring all of that together, and then it might start out being, uh, it might start out that I was gonna make a bowl or a vessel, and it may turn into something entirely different, just basically by how the metal or how I, whatever it is that I'm working with sort of plays out, and I'm okay with that. Creativity is organic. Most Everything starts out as some sort of a feeling or concept in my head. When it's ready to come out, I try to figure out, you know, do I want this to be a two-dimensional piece so I make it into a painting, or is this gonna be a three-dimensional piece I, I wanna make it out of metal or something concrete or something like that. Quite often, a lot of people get stuck on, especially artists or creatives, say, oh, I can't do what's in my head. I, well, stop trying to make it look like what's in your head. For me, it's like the process is really the big turn on. It's like a, almost a mathematical equation. I'm doing it for me. I'm venting or I'm reliving or I'm, I'm channeling a memory or something and I'm creating a piece. I can look back out on it and say, hey, well that's that was not a happy painting. That was, you know, something. But someone else who's looking at that may, n may not necessarily want to know that. They've already decided what they it means to them. You know, it doesn't matter what it meant to me. That moment is gone.